I had this motion sensing light on a breadboard before and now I mounted it on a, a perf board and I use four 10 millimeter LED and I use a 2N4401 transistor. Uh, the uh, data sheet said uh, it's supposed to be able to go up to 500 milliamps. This time I'm using a USB power pack to power it because USB power is easier to set up. This power pack can be charged by a solar panel so I can always set up a solar panel next to it and charge it. And I got this charger adapter here just to check the amp draw of the uh, LEDs to make sure I am not overdriving them or they're not overheating or anything like that. So it looks like it's only drawing about 20 milliamps which is fine and it will it will last for a long time with the power pack because I got four lithium ion batteries in there but with the motion sensing I set it to turn on for about 40 seconds or so and then it will turn off by itself and then if I go past the sensor again it will re-trigger so this I guess will last quite a while so now you just saw it went off by itself and I just moved slightly with my body and uh, the LEDs went back on again and I will probably use a glass jar or a yogurt container or, or something like that to house this and uh, I'm going to put it wherever I need a motion sensing light. This one here in the corner is a another store bought one. This is Rose Wheel. I think this is one of my best because it hasn't failed me and uh, it uses a 1 watt LED. So there are two of them so it's 2 watts. Here is another LED light. Uh, there's no solar panel on this one. And then over at my garage here these are all solar powered, battery powered lights. This is the traditional, I'm not sure it's what they call Malibu or something. But this one runs good because I put an any loop battery in it. Uh, this light's been there for several years. This one here, this one here is the latest one. This is a remote control one. I have a bit of a problem with this with the remote control. This is a strip light because sometimes it would go on by itself and that's not good. So I don't really depend on this one but I just plugged it in to show you the brightness of it. This one here is a 12 volt LED light, one of the ones that I made several years ago. It's attached to a deep cycle battery. Not all that bright but it's okay. It's, uh, is on maybe about six hours. It is controlled by a solar charge controller. And this one here is the one I just made with the QX 5252 chip. I attach two any loop battery to it. It is very bright, but unfortunately maybe it's the coil that I'm using. It doesn't really last all night. It uh, may be maybe two or three o'clock in the morning it would shut down but that's okay um, it doesn't really have to be on all night this one here doesn't go on all night either um, it shuts, shuts down when the voltage goes to maybe about 0.9 volt but the next day it will charge up again I'm just gonna show you my uh, solar controller for this light here because I'm thinking of making another one similar to this one. 
this is the solar controller that I have and you see the red light there that means that means uh, the load is on and the battery is at 12.55 and I have a single LED attached to that 12 volt battery in this lid just to have sort of a uh, a beacon if for some reason I'm locked in the garage if the garage door doesn't open at least I would have one light that I know that I can go to and I can switch on my inverter so that the other light this is a, another DC light it would go on and uh, I would I would know you know where all my tools are and and whatnot actually um, this converter is only 400 watts because I only have one battery but I like this inverter uh, DC to the AC is Cobra and when I first turn it on you heard the fan running and then uh, when it's stabilized the fan turn off by itself so I, I like this it's not one of those that you turn it on and the fan goes on constantly and that's that's not that good uh, I like it when because it is pretty much silent and uh, I don't actually use it much but it's there for me if I ever need to use the uh, DC power and this here is my deep cycle battery and I have a desulfator infinitum actually I want to get more but the desulfator is very expensive it's like over forty dollars this is one of the two lights I made using the QX uh, 5252 chip